I'm Wiz, same for you, ABC here. It's time for this month's Q&A and I'm going to start off with um, Dead Video Gamer and he asked um, how did I meet Shadow Lost Arts and I met him through my friend Ify. Um, Ify went to my secondary school and then Ify got a job at um, Showcase Cinemas and that's where he met um, Shadow Lost Arts and later on he brought him around my house and everything just went on from there <laughs> you know all of us hanging out and everything that and um, the second question have you ever listened to Armin Bahita, Bahatia I think that's how you pronounce his name I, f I think if you haven't you should give it a whirl I actually didn't until I read that question and um, I searched a couple of his tracks and yeah he does have very good synth sounds and that very intergalactic type of um, bit of a space, space, spacious like ele electronica so he's got some pretty cool music and um, since he's a composer for some films I'm pretty sure there's probably some more brilliant stuff from him that I might be missing so yeah I think I've got to listen to a bit more of him but yeah he sounds great and um, Stocky Docky asks I just watched Toy Story 3 and it's wicked I can finally cl close a piece of my childhood now I know you're a Pixar fan. What was your take on the movie? Nearly had me in tears at the end. You know what, yeah? As a Pixar fan, I suck. I suck big time. You want to know why? I have Toy Story 3 on me. I've had it on me for about a year, and I still haven't watched it. Do you know why? Because when I watched Toy Story 2, that was a long time ago, and I didn't really sit down and watch it properly. And the reason why for that was is because I never actually saw Toy Story 1 at the time. So it was like watching Toy Story 2 but not really watching it and really taking in what's happening. So I didn't actually watch Toy Story 2. I watched Toy Story 1 sometime after it, which was fantastic. Toy Story 2, I need to watch it again. I want to watch it before I watch Toy Story 3, you know what I mean? I've got 3 on me right as well. You know, as a Pixar fan, I suck completely. You know, you might as well not call me a Pixar fan because I haven't even watched bloody Cars 1 or 2 yet and I haven't watched Up either. So, so you know what, as a Pixar fan I really suck. So I really can't even answer that question. And um, Orson Miles asks, Do you believe Emil Heskey was the greatest English player to ever touch a football? Shame he's retired from the internationals now. Um... I don't really follow football as much as people think. Just because I'm a fan of um, playing the games FIFA you know, and that, yeah. I'm not really too much into football as I used to be. But um, the, only, the only players I can see doing really great here yeah, from, from England right now is um, Steven Gerrard and Wayne Rooney. Jermaine Defoe's a pretty cool player. So... I don't know what else to say on that situation really. And second, what would you do if somebody would break into your house and steal all the tango cherry? I'll call I'll call the police and make sure they get locked up. Or if I catch them, then I gotta try and see if I'm good if I'm good enough to do what I like watching all the guys on UFC do. <laughs> I'm sure you can get that. Um, now Leon656 asks, have you seen the popular film called Akira? What do you think of it? I always thought it was a brilliant film. One, the one of the best, I, when, I, when, I, when I like watching it, I like watching the old English dub, because that's the best one. And it was so, it was so bloody fantastic. Um, there's loads of anime films and everything that I'm into more than Akira, but I've I definitely got to admit that Akira is a classic. It's clearly like the one that if it wasn't for that, there wouldn't be you wouldn't be into any others. You know what I mean? So it is one of those films. So it's definitely um, excellent. You know what I mean? They're definitely going to be wicked. And second, 
do you have any plans on going on holiday this year not this year but I do have some plans for next year so um, we have to see how it happens. We have to see what happens about that because I'll, I'll, be, I'll be doing some videos on that situation. And now, um, Martino 007 asks, "What are some of your favorite restaurants, no matter what kind and why?" Um, Chicago Rib Shack. Um, it, it was one of the best restaurants. You know, been there three times now. Enjoyed um, the ribs from there. Didn't really enjoy the steak much when I the second time I went there I went for steak instead of ribs, but I really do like getting ribs from the place. I think it's really fantastic. I like um, Big Mo's. Big Mo's. Um, the ribs there taste almost as good as um, Chicago Rib Shack, and the money is well cheaper. And Big Mo's itself is way closer. So, you, honestly, say Big Mo's might as well be the be best one there. I love the burger over there as well. There's an Italian restaurant which. Which, you know what, I never ever bother look at the name, yeah? But I know where it is. It's like, just a few doors away from a train station where I go to when I'm going to my, my friend's house. So I know exactly where it is, but I don't know what the name of it is. But it's an Italian restaurant, and been there twice already, love the food there. I think it's about time I spend, I have one of my birthdays over there. Uh, there was a Chinese restaurant in Piccadilly Circus that I forgot the name for, but God, that was some real damn good Chinese food. Sorry, I forgot the name, but that's not. Boy, who would have thought that I'd be bad with names for restaurants? <laughs> so, um, but yeah, there are some. There are definitely some of the favorite restaurants there, though, man. And second question: What do you think of the movie Good Burger? It's my favorite '90s comedy movie of all time. I just watched it two days ago. <laughs> again I've watched that film millions of times that film is probably one of the best films as well that film is so fantastic really really nice terrific different film you know very original you know that films we're never going to get never going to get films like that. we just won't get films like that anymore that was a film that was just absolutely fantastic you know what I mean Wish we could have. See, that's that. <laughs> ah, man, yeah, man, you put me in the mode there, man. That 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 film is absolutely fantastic, and I definitely agree with you. Right there, man. It's a very, very brilliant comedy movie. Welcome to Good Burger, home of the Good Burger. Can I take your order? <laughs> and Nick Knack asks, if you were to make a list of your top forty to fifty favorite Tekken characters, where would Martial Law and Jin be at? Damn. Wow. God, that's really tough. Well, Martial Law would clearly be in my top 10. Because he was a character that I did use at one point. Hmm. I definitely would rate um, Martial Law 5th. Definitely, definitely would rate him something like 5th. Maybe 4th. Because he is a funny character and he was as well. Jin. Jin is a is that type of hard nut character as well, which you know don't want to mess with him and this and everything that yeah. Uh but sometimes I, I sometimes the thing that always confuses me about Jin is where the is is he a good guy or is he a bad guy? The next he's not the next he's a good guy, the next he's this, he's that. It just seems kinda of weird. But I mean, as a fighter, I think he is wicked. Um, I'm gonna have to put Jin. I'm gonna have to put the Jin um, between six and ten. That's, I can't really give an accurate on that, but I'm gonna definitely have to put him into six and ten. So that's what I'm gonna say on that situation. Second, we know you're a Tekken fan and you aren't really into a Virtua Fighter, but what do you think about um, Dead or Alive games? To be totally honest, um, I think I've played Dead or Alive like two times in my whole life. You know, I think I'm I'm more into Virtua Fighter than I am Dead or Alive. You know, I just think you know there are there. I just think that 
you know, we've got fighting games. We already have Tekken. We already have Street Fighter. We already have Mortal Kombat. We already have Soul Calibur. You know, and Virtua Fighter. We don't need to have too many games. I mean, some people usually think that I'm going to be into every single fighting game that comes out. That's not the case. Dead or Alive games, I just feel... I won't say it's a bread of Tekken but or, or Virtua Fire, but it's just... We don't need too many f um, fighting games. It's the same thing which I usually say about first-person shooters. The too many of those, you know... I, I think Dead or Alive is just a game that's just like move it to the back seat for me so that's probably one franchise I'm not really into really maybe just one that never grew, just one that never grew on me sadly um, Cloner7h asks have you seen the anime films Red Line and Summer Wars Ab sadly no and um, second um, Tim, have you watched any films by Studio um, Ghibli? Um, they are so good that they make me go. The sad thing is, right? Yeah, is I, I, don't, I don't even think I'm into much anime films as people think. I'm only into like enemies that you know that have a bit of um, violent fighting. You know, like a one-on-one -on -one fight situation like a boxing or an MMA type thing like you know underground fighting like Baki the Grappler and stuff but then I've also been into Dragon Ball Z I ain't into that many enemies you know I think probably I think maybe I might probably be only in, into 11 or 12 enemies overall besides watching some manga films as well which are funny but um, yeah so I haven't seen so I haven't seen um, Red Line, Some Wars, or any films by Studio um, Ghibli. In fact, I don't even know the, the crew. I, maybe, maybe I probably have seen something by them, and I don't even know them really. So, <laughs> so I really, so that's not. I'm sorry. I don't think that's the answer that you expected. So sorry on that situation. And Andy one four three two four asks, Would you be interested in if Mortal Kombat, Virtua Fighter? or Tekken had guest characters from Marvel comics such as Wolverine, Spider-Man, Hulk, Iron Man and Deadpool. Would I be interested in if more combat had it? Um Well more combat's already done with DC Universe and it wasn't that wasn't too bad. Um, that would be kind of tough, you know. Really, be kind of tough. I don't know what what it could be. I don't know what. Hmm. But well, the fact it's taken me so long to think, yeah, I'm gonna say no. I'm not interested because I think it's gonna. I don't know. I say it's gonna suck, but it's gonna. It gives so much mix opinions. It mix. Yeah. Mix, motions you don't know I don't know what it would do really so I'm gonna have to say no in that situation I'm not sure how it would be in Tekken I don't even know really and um, second have you ever watched or heard of Mortal Kombat Conquest TV series if so what did you think of it and why I thought it was pretty cool um, Raiden in there was quite funny Scorpion in there was was wicked I mean, it, it was actually the, the same Scorpion. It was actually the same Scorpion actor from the first Mortal Kombat film, and um, there were some really, really funny moments in there. The f I thought the one of the funniest parts ever. Um, I keep forgetting what that damn name, that guy's name was. Was it Drake or something? I think it was Drake. Yeah, when um, he was about to force this guard to tell him where something is, he was like. Uh, you know I am going to make you talk and the guys went <laughs> cracked his own neck killed himself I was just that was just like shut down blanked owned <laughs> just whatever just you know it, it was just standard I thought oh my god that was just so fucking funny 
So, um, yeah, more quite conquest. Yeah, that was definitely a um, pretty cool series. Now, H Taste um, got a long question here. Have you ever heard of seeing the anime or manga called Space Adventure Cobra? There's a strong chance that there's going to be a live action movie made of it. The first promo video has been released about the movie and looks amazing true to the, the manga. Also one of the best things about it is that it's going to be made by a French director who's actually a huge fan of it himself and he's making the movie as a labour of love. You can see a comparison picture between the anime and the live action version of, on my YouTube channel and background image. Please check it out and let me know what you think about it. Yes. And I did check it out and um, yeah it definitely looks like they've that it looks like it was made out of labour of love like, like they've made it like it's like an advanced version of it no stupid try and change it around and modernise it everything like they look like they've made it what it's supposed to be so um, I guess it's um, absolutely perfect that someone's actually going to do it for what it is you know what I mean uh, but as for seeing it I don't know about anything about it never really watched it and so I can't really say, say any more on that situation and his second question have you ever wondered what King looks like under his mask if he maybe has facial hair earrings and such also do you think King should reveal his face in the future seconds or should he be left as a mystery for gamers also please explain why he should be on mask and remain masked okay well the funky thing is which quite a lot of people don't seem to know I found out quite a late time, yeah, is he was actually unmasked for that m quick moment in Tekken 1 intro. Like, you just see the bottom half of his face, like, like you see about that much of his face, and then he puts the mask on. So he didn't have facial hair, but then again, that king is actually different to the king in today's Tekkens, because it was king... Tekken 1, Tekken 2, that king died, then a new king comes in, Tekken 3, and that's the king that's there today, so no one knows um, how he looks like underneath the mask. We know that in Tekken 4, he had long hair, and, and so his hair is black, so we know that, that's one thing we know. I reckon it should be left as a mystery. It's always going to be um, something, yeah, I reckon... I reckon it's always great to leave it as a mystery, yeah, let it be like, you know, we never ever know what King looks like, you know, it'd be funky if he unmasks himself and then he still does the growls and the roars and everything and all that, it'd be kind of weird and funny, but, um, uh, yeah, I'm, I, I think, um, it should definitely, um, I, I reckon he should stay masked, really. One thing I do wonder is, can, is does he actually speak? Will he ever speak? Okay, they've got into the situation that he growls and they put the subtitles on for that, <laughs> which is which is pretty funny. Um, I don't actually, I don't think he'll ever speak really either. And plastered fingers asks. Do you miss the arcades? Do you think Street Fighter X Tekken will bring back the arcade competition like Street Fighter 4 did? Both of them started in the arcades and Street Fighter 4 has made a lot of competition since coming back to third generation consoles. Um, the, thing, the, the thing is, I don't even think arcades have even been stopped. Like you say, bring back arcade competition. I mean, like, I don't even think arcades have been stopped really because... Because there's Tekken competitions out there, and I'm very sure clearly that there was obviously Tekken tournaments even back from when Tekken Tag Tournament was done, but Tekken 4 as well, Tekken 5, Tekken 6, you know, now the new Tekken, there's um, that next Tekken arcade game, which is um, Tekken Bloodline Rebellion. Wait, no, sorry, that's the film. That's it. I can always keep mixing them up. But there is, there is another um, Tekken 6 arcade game. I don't know if it's out already or if it's coming out. Um, and then you've got the situation of... Um, uh, you've got the situation of all um, DDR and Pump It Up, all those dancing game arcades. You know, that that done very well in the arcades. Most of my friends were always playing it. 
you've got all the guitar heroes that was actually in the arcades as well did guitar world all that all those different games so arcades i don't think arcades ever stopped to be honest if i knew what i knew about arcade if i if i knew what i know now about arcades boy i would have i probably would have joined more competitions than than, than what i've done so far really but um the arcades in my personal opinion okay besides the fact that the trocadero in london is gone now uh, yeah i can miss the arcades on that level but i know that arcades is not gone overall and i'm starting to bring the arcade world into, into my house with all my arcade sticks i got f i got um four arcade sticks at the moment and sad and a fifth one is on its way because i lost a dongle for that one i just shown but yeah arcades they're coming man now venom three four two one asks have you seen the tech and tag tournament 2 intro if so how did you feel when king got his ass kicked by jc well there's no there's nothing wrong with it right yeah but it's they seem to try and make it look as if like king and mardok are the bad guys now armor king and jc are the good guys that wants to take them two down the way they sort of stage that that's a, that's a hard situation i wonder what the storyline is going to be on that situation really but um but hey king's king's um style is based on lucha libre jc is a luchador so she is going to be the right competition for king so it wouldn't so it wasn't a surprise to be honest and second have you drank any other tango sodas besides cherry yes i've drank the orange i've drank apple and when they used to do tango black current a lot i used to have the tango black current back then but for some reason when i just drank the cherry it really grew on me and i really love tango cherry a lot now you know as you can see or as you've seen from the video already still it's still last in me <laughs> up to, up to now but um but that's that's all great now um zayed 12 asks how would you feel about a few game a few atari games like pitfall berserk combat being rebooted and made into a new franchise for this generation of gaming do you think it'll work i think it'll work proper absolutely terrific combat that was combat is probably one of the best multiplayer games yeah ever you know if combat was online that would just be nice and it'd be nice and simple you know it'd be a game that people would know that will bang out at least for a long while that's a game that if they can bring if they can bring it um if they can reboot it, yeah, but not make it too much 3D and slow down the gameplay, blah, blah, blah. If they can still keep the gameplay nice and addictive, you know, it'd be terrific. I reckon they've done a good job with Pitfall for the Mega Drive. And that same version was on the Super NES as well. I think they've done a very good job here with, with, uh, with that Pitfall game. You know what? I wonder if I've still got that Pitfall game. I need to... Ah... Uh... I need to find it, man. I feel like playing that game now because I actually had it. <laughs> um, and Berserk. Berserk was one of our best games. That that game is, a, is very addictive. I can just one day just turn that game on and just like, just go through it and start. I don't see how far I get. Um, but yeah. But yeah, like I was saying, um, that would be great to see rebooted. Yeah, so that was damn, so that's a damn good um, um, question, man. Very, very great about that. I reckon it could work, definitely. If they do it right. And his second question is, my birthday is, or was, depending on when you do this, February 14th. So that was yesterday, so ha happy birthday, man. And um, what do you usually enjoy doing on your birthday that you can recommend? Well, most of the times, I'm, yeah, I'm always hanging out with friends. I always would call friends and family over here for a gaming session. I bring my TV and my gaming console, and be my PS3 and all that stuff downstairs, and um, play some loads of games. But this this year for my birthday, I want to switch it up. I want to go to the new bowling alley in um, um, Stratford. 
and like I said already, I'm, I want to go to um, I want to go to uh, the Italian restaurant at some other point as well. I already went to um, Holloway's Best Kebab for my birthday once. That was perfect. Managed to get a few friends to come with me for that. But I definitely want to go to um, that Italian restaurant I was talking to you about. Um, what one day for my birthday and gonna play bowling might want to play squash for another um birthday you know there's there's loads of things i could do for my birthdays loads of things you could do as well make a gaming session go out and do a rare sport that you like that you probably ain't done for ages maybe i should go do archery so um that's the end of zai's questions now b-boy agent tekken asks do you know that there's going to be a video game amusement park called Game Nation coming up? It's world's first experimental video game theme park and resort. Visitors will become players as they step into a recreation of worlds based on popular video games filled with myths, legends and arenas instead of just rides. You're immersed in the world of total interactivity. Well, that sounds absolutely fantastic. But where's that going to be? That's obviously not going to be in England. <laughs> so obviously there's no point in me getting hyped about that. But that sounds absolutely fantastic. So I literally walk into the world of Zelda. Like literally see Hyrule Temple. That would be great. I suppose I'll be, we'll be seeing loads of guys cosplaying as Link in that. Will there be a world of Tekken? <laughs> Probably be a world of Street Fighter. That'd be actually terrific, you know. Yeah, I reckon that's actually going to be brilliant. So I didn't know that there that there was. I didn't know there was such a thing really. But now that I know, no point hyping up about it. Unless, unless when I I don't know. I don't even know. You know, I can't say anything. Um, second. What future crossovers would you want Mortal Kombat to have? Well, as you know, everyone wants the ultimate. We all want it to be with Street Fighter. And, um, what else could Mortal Kombat join with, yeah? Yeah, I reckon it just, I reckon it could just be probably with Street, I think only with Street Fighter, really. Can't see anything else it could be with at the moment. It's just, just Street Fighter and that's it. Maybe also Soul Calibur, because that can work, because Mortal Kombat does sometimes have its weapons as well. And, you know, fighting guys who are skilled with weapons, like, yeah, guys who fight per brilliant and fight with weapons, fighting people who are skilled and then only using just the weapons. So that would be kind of terrific. So yeah, those are my two games. And I'll say Street Fighter and Soul Calibur. And JSJ07 asks, which current mainstream music artist do you like and dislike? Um, the ones I like is Dead Mouse, Skrillex, um, Swedish House Mafia, and AVC. I can never pronounce that guy's name. AVC, AVC. You know, those those artists are absolutely terrific really really perfect you know really class music you know that that you know they actually got me more into progressive house I'm, I'm trying to learn some tutorials and so, like you know see if I can do some nice pro progressive house um yeah their music is really wicked um who do I dislike at the moment I haven't got much artists that I dislike. One artist I could say that I may dislike is Nicki Minaj, but one of Nicki Minaj's song is really fantastic, and that's um, Super Bass. I really love Super Bass. I don't like any of her, her other songs. You know what I mean? So I could say that I dislike her, but it was not as much as a dislike as any other person I would have disliked in a few in the before because. You know, Nicki Minaj, I mean, the Super Bass, that was a really fantastic song. And I can listen to that song almost all day. Just that, that's the only song. So that's a hard situation. 
But um, and second, what what's your favourite music album of all time? Oh God, I can, I can never really answer that question, you know, because it it always will change. Like, oh, I could love this album one day, I could love another album another day. It's really hard. I can honestly say uh, that currently now, I've got two albums here which I think are absolutely fantastic. That's Genki Rocket's first album, Heavenly Star, and I so can't wait for their second one. And Zircon with his album, Anti Gravity, and I can't wait for Zircon's new album because I heard a sample of it and I thought the track is absolutely fantastic. You know, Zircon's like a teacher to me, yeah, because he, he, te he teaches me quite a lot of things. I reckon people should check him out. His music is just absolute fantastic. <laughs> Will I ever be as good as that? That's how I see it. And by the way, he's just finished made the, the mu some music tracks for Soul Calibur V. So this guy's in business. He's serious. This is not. This is no messing about. So um, that's. So that's. Um, oh, still say I just saw another person here. Oops. And people call me Ryan. Asks. What inspired you to start making music? Um, when I was watching my brother play um, um, games, he, he when I was a young boy, I wasn't allowed to play the consoles. I wasn't old enough, but but I was allowed to watch, sit down and watch my brother play. And he was playing um, Commodore. He was playing loads of the fighting games. If people remember the Commodore days and remember the fighting games the ninja games for the commodore they would know what the music always sounded like the music was always fantastic and all just what hearing just hearing those sounds watching that just made me just want to make music like that myself um when i when we got the nin the nintendo all the music from double dragon you know nintendo world cup and then then came double dragon freeze music it's like wow those are music that when playing all those games at the time I did, it's it's no surprise that the music that how my the music that I make today sounds. You know what I mean? So so the starting the, the start of it all, yes, it was my brother playing games in front of me and all that. So uh, so all that's um so all that's yeah, fantastic. Um, yeah, but guys, so that's um, the end of this Q and A, right? Yeah. So thanks very much for the questions. Next video, don't know what next video is going to be about, so um, I'm going to come out with something, obviously, yeah, so thanks very much, guys, I'll speak to you all later, love who you are.